I have been buying a lot of books, really, but I haven't really had the time to actually read them. Bookworm problems. Hey guys, it's Nojo again, and I'm back on YouTube. It has been a while since I did my last video, so hey again. Hey, how are you? So, as you all can see, I'm wearing a floral scarf and a flower crown because today I'm going to do my spring book haul. First we have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is a new release book. I haven't really read it. I have heard so many good things about it, like no negative review at all. And I'm really excited. And also it's a an own voices book and I have been venturing myself into a lot of diverse books um, this year and I think that this would be one of the books that I will be reading soon, hopefully. Next book that I got is um, The Serpent King by Jeff Sandner. I am currently reading this book and so far really great. It tells a lot about the friendship element and I love contemporaries which focuses on friendship and I think that this would be one of my fave read this year too and I'm only like halfway. We will see. Next book that I got is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This is actually a gift from my friend Ikin. Thanks for the gift Ikin and also uh, I've recently read this book about last month I think and I think that it is really really cute and the movie is coming out really soon really excited to see movie next what I got is um, Wing Jones by Katherine Weber and let's take a moment to appreciate beauty of this book look at that the spray pages oh my god it's really really pretty and beautiful and let me tell you that the inside is as beautiful as the outside. I've read it and it's really really good that I, can't, I couldn't really find a single flaw in it. I have like so many emotions. So good. So what I got is Radio Silence by Alice Osman. Alice Osman has been one of my favorite authors since Solitaire. I've read her work on solitaire and it's just amazing and this one is just as amazing or even better oh my god love it so much highly highly recommend it it's not your typical contemporary it's something else it's just oh my god next book that i got is the star of me and you by emery lord i've read this a few months back or like last year I read it and it is one of my favorite contemporaries and one of my favorite reads in 2016 and I thought why not just buy a physical copy of it and come on it's really pretty and I've also reread this recently and still loved it to bits especially um, they have like the emails that Max and Paige um, send each other uh, during their college years and it's just really adorable and I love books that um, develop th their relationship um, by starting off being friends and it's more realistic like that you know and it's just really relatable and so cute so these next ones are a bargain I went to this um, bookstore called Sun Mag in KL Central and they sell the books uh, like 10 ringgit Per book and if you buy three you you can get like 25 ringgit for three books so I bought three books the first one would be Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard this is a novella for Red Queen series I haven't really read Glass Sword and King's Gate yet but I'm looking forward to reading them soon probably but really excited to start on this one the next one would be Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabriel Savit also heard so many good things about this book and it has been everywhere in Goodreads and Instagram and just in the bookish world in general so looking forward to reading this one as well next one would be Fire Color One by Jenny Valentine um, have heard uh, mixed reviews about this book so looking forward to reading it myself and see how 
it goes and it's contemporary so I thought why not and it's cheap too the next two books are like one are like the the most anticipated books in 2017 and it is always and forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han and as soon as I got this book in my hand, I just start reading it and I flew through the pages. I read it in 24 hours, maybe less than 24 hours. And it's just the greatest feeling ever. My heart is so full after reading it. And uh, this trilogy, this series will be a part of my life forever. It will be always treasured in my heart. Always and forever. The last one, the most anticipated that like I've read for like a year now, would be drum roll, please. The Court of Wings and Ruins by Sarah J. Maas. Oh my god! Like I really wanted to start reading this like right now, but I'm really busy with all these assignments. But the temptation, oh my god, it's just a really pretty, and the cover is all I ever wanted. I mean, the color is really pretty as well, though I don't really prefer it to be this bright, you know? But, so pretty and so excited! I think that's it for my spring book haul. I will try to be doing videos more often, maybe after my exam. My exam is around the corner in about two weeks. But after my exams, I will try to do as much as I can. I promises, and also... Uh, Ramadan is nearing and I want to promote this readathon that my friend on Twitter is hosting. It's called the Ramadan Readathon. And a month long, we will read along a few um, Muslim author books or like Muslim related books. And we will be having discussion over on Twitter. So if you like, I will link the Twitter link down below and all of you are welcome to join the ramadan readathon which i think is a really great idea for us to be more exposed to muslim authors and muslim um stories in general and i think that is just amazing so i guess that's it for now i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully bye